Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. So it's Friday here at the convent today. Sean is just finishing off a few things in the kitchen. I think he's just finishing off the expansion joint. This afternoon we're going to pressure test all three zones just to make sure they're okay. Um, yeah, we're taking it easy. And thank you for all your suggestions in the comments from last night. I just want to mention one thing, the rebar isn't for reinforcing the concrete, it's only for laying the pipes to a perfect grid pattern for a nice consistent sort of layout. And it's probably the most inexpensive way of doing it because you can buy the plastic things that you slot the pipe into, but I find this much easier. I need to buy me a mix. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Billy. You just said, why don't you buy me a mixer? <laughs> you weren't meant to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will buy one. It's just, uh, with everything else at the moment, it's uh, going to take a little bit of time, yeah, but we will yeah. get there. Yeah, we'll get I there. have got my eyes on a 400 litre right. proper mixer that you can tow behind the truck. Okay. So that'd be pretty handy, wouldn't Brilliant. it? Yeah. I mean, I'm only knocking up a small batch. I don't yeah. need a mixer for this, but. Yeah, it's. Um, we'll it's come only, in handy. It's for bedding in the expansion joints, isn't it, mate? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just getting it done. Friday, it's Friday. Set Friday feeling. So, possibly a quick drink over the rope before we go later. Okay, if I must. And we'll take it easy, mate. Alright, oh, yeah. That is the. Uh, Order of the day, is it? Well, Friday? Fridays I look forward to, We're so. Just cruising into the weekend. Exactly, yeah. But uh, we don't have weekends off, do we? So. No, not normally, no. <laughs> it's the official cut off. Even though I'm not filming on the weekends, I still generally do some work, but. Yeah. No yep. rest for the wicked, mate. No. All right, I'll let you crack on, mate. Yeah, okay. It's looking lovely, by the way. Coming along, yeah. We're at Brick Ocean. Once again. I think we've been here about 20 times this week. <laughs> they think we work here. <laughs> um, that is for the easy fit compression connection so we can do the pressure testing. Yep, I great. do have one, but Dad stole it. And I don't want to go and take it back off him because he might still be using it. So I thought yep. I'd spend another, I don't even know how much that costs. Um, it, didn't we? we got a hose pipe to fill the pipes up with water. I've got some fittings. Yeah. Um, We've got some cement, uh, concrete, cement, concrete, this yeah. is pre-mixed isn't it? Pre-mixed, yeah. So this is concrete without water. Yeah, just and, water. Yep, Done. and uh, we're just doing the base for the, what do you call it, the heat pump, the air heat, conditioning, air, source. air, air source. conditioning heat compressor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, cause it's going yeah, out, the, big square thing. <laughs> it's going out the back of the kitchen isn't it? So yeah. we're just doing that today as well. Yeah. We're not doing much. There's not much content, unfortunately, everyone. Yeah, so I'll see you, like see you all next Monday. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> We've just got to carry on, Sean. Yeah. We've just got to on. carry on. All right, mate. We'll get there. Load her up and yeah. we'll go back to the convent and try and do some work yeah. without falling asleep. Yeah. We've had two big burgers, haven't we? And it's really slowed us down. We've had burger for lunch and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, I, I was falling asleep at the till. <laughs> I swear to God. That's because you just wait for the till roll to come from. <laughs> right. All right, mate. Right, you take that. I'll warm the motor up. You ready to get the pressure on, Sean? Yep, we thrive <laughs> under pressure. <laughs> okay, so I've done two circuits already. Okay. Um, so we've got this thingy here, yep. and we've been filling, filling the pipes up with the hose pipes, so they're full of water. Yep. And then we've been putting caps on one end. Yep, blanking them off. Blanking them off with um, special plumbing washer thing, so they don't leak air or water. Yep. Circuit, or zone one, we Done. left for about half an hour. It's fine. All right. Okay. It didn't change at all. Um, zone two is currently on, okay. and we're at about five bar on that, and it's been like that for about fifteen minutes. 
I'm 100% certain. Safe it's, to say. It's never going to leak. No. These pipes are, well, the audience are going to know what they are. They're PEC, yeah, so they're multi layered yeah. and they've got aluminium between. And generally, they're the best sort of pipes to use because they don't leak. Yeah, they've been on the market for about 30 you years. You can cut the first layer of plastic and they still won't leak. Yeah. Um, we don't intend to do that. Also, a good sign as well. I keep getting this phone call, Sean. Right, okay. From, where is that? Anonymous admirer. Mountain View, California. Okay. I don't know who that is. Mm. Fan mail. <laughs> anyway, so what we're going to do now, we're going to release the pressure on this one. Yeah. Move this one. Oh, I've already put it on there, actually. So yeah. we can fill that circuit up with water, and then we're going to pressure test the last okay. zone. Okay, right. so we've just got to undo that. Yeah, that's pressure released. Yep, yeah, I'll do that now quickly. So we just undo this little... I don't want an early shower, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right, okay. So that's released. I've actually got spanners, Sean. Wow, you are prepared. I bought an entire new set because I couldn't find the old ones. <laughs> there we go. Arm oh, bands at the ready. Be careful, it's going to squirt everywhere. No, it doesn't really. Oh, the anticipation. What's good as well, when you see the water returning, you do realise we haven't put no kinks in the pipes. Yeah, oh, there, we go. there it goes. Throwing that away from Billy. No, I don't. Uh, I don't Jeopard it. Jeopardy. It's, it's pointing towards me now. <laughs> right. As soon as water starts coming out, just kink the pipe yeah. and put it out the window. Nearly there. Feel the air first, obviously. Yeah. Uh, 50 to 60 litres per circuit. There's quite a lot of water. Mm. I can hear it going all the way around yeah. the pipes, can't you? Yeah. Lucky I went earlier. <laughs> right, I reckon maybe kink it now, Sean, just before. Okay, and let it a little bit more. Mm. Oh, <laughs> jeopardy. Oh no. Okay, we haven't done too badly. No. We haven't flooded too much. Let me just remove this. Oh, it's soaking wet now. Oh. That's it, Sean. I think that's pretty good. It doesn't have to be mega tight because it's got a huge rubber washer. This one has to be relatively tight until it stops. Ready, Sean? Take off. Go on, mate. There we go. Slowly does it. A little bit more. Okay, now if we turn it off now, we can keep an eye. On the water level, on the pressure. On that pressure gauge. I'd say just pump it a little bit more. Open the valve and pump it up to five bar. Okay, one more. Okay, now close the valve, mate. We're at about six bar there. Yep, it's holding good. And if we come and check that in about 10 or 15, or even 20 minutes, yeah. it should be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Done good, mate. Brilliant. Good system you got here. Yep. At least uh, it's assurance that it's going to work. Because yeah. once you put concrete down, it's pretty permanent, isn't it? Yeah. Can you imagine if there was a pinhole in manufacturing? Right? <laughs> I'm oh. sure it happens. Yeah. Let me just stand up. Oh. I've heard of it. Yeah. It's not very good. Yeah. Otherwise you've got your slab down. Absolutely. Uh -huh. We did a little test earlier as well. We got a bit of pipe and we jumped on it. Yeah. And we jumped and we stamped it and we stamped it. Didn't do nothing. We were getting pretty angry and we couldn't even dent it. <laughs> so standing on these pipes, everyone, yeah. isn't going to damage them. Pretty strong. Yeah. Definitely. Do you want to say anything about the steel mesh, Sean? Because there was a lot of comments about that. Yeah. I mean, um, if it was a structural pour, which it isn't technically, is it? No. It's just to lay out our grid work for our yep. pipe. Mm -hmm. Had it been for structure, yes, we would have raised it. Yeah. So that it would have been sort of set yep. third up into the slab. Absolutely. Even, but it wasn't used for that purpose, was no, it? No, it wasn't. It was to hold our pipe work in place. Yep. Do you want to show us what you did outside yeah, earlier? Sure. Yeah. You've been a busy boy, Sean. I have, yep. So this is what the... Heating pump thingy, air source, heat air pump. source heating pump compressor System, for the air heater. conditioning. So the kitchen's actually going to have auxiliary heating and air conditioning, oh. but that's nothing to do with the underfloor heating. No, nope. um, that's yep. going to be in the other room. 
the air conditioning will come in very handy I, so this year. Sean would only sign a contract to work with me if I have air conditioning in the workspace during the summer. If you kept me cool. Because Sean doesn't like working in heat. No. As soon as Sean starts sweating, he gets in the car and he leaves <laughs> and he doesn't come back. <laughs> So, so the kitchen's going to have air conditioning for the summer and I uh, supposedly, even though it won't even be needed, the heating, yeah. extra heating in the, in instant, the winter. It's instant, isn't it? Yeah. If you come in and it's cold. So it's going to be mounted to this. Obviously the person who's going to come and install it will put his pipes through the conduit there, whatever yep. you call it. Yep. And Same. then that goes through and into the wall and there's one that side and one that side. Internally. I mean, they won't look great. In a way, they look a little bit modern on the wall. They're not white ones; they're like grey, okay. so they should blend in a little bit. Yeah. Um, but they're they're for practicality. Yeah, you have to mix, you know, traditional with modern living. Yeah. And I think that Absolutely, works. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and these, you can get really nice covers for them, Sean. Yeah. So they don't look so. And they look like trellis. Okay. Put some plants on now. Yeah, exactly. Flowers. Or plants around the Bring front it up of them. A bit. So that's it for today, everyone. The work is done. Um, only thing that I've got to do now is add some valves to those zones so I can pressure test them up to about four or five bar and isolate them because you're meant to have pressure in them so the pipes are at their most expanded for when you lay the concrete. So I'll do that and yeah, I'm looking forward to the concrete pour on Thursday. Sean is back in on Monday but he won't be back in for the rest of the week. I think Jack will be back but of course Rick will be here as well and Yanis so yeah, thank you so much for watching these videos this week, everyone. And I'll see you all on Monday.